Hi, welcome to my cooking channel. Today's recipe is chicken curry. Here is the finished product. Looks amazing. Please pause this section. Uncheck the ingredients. All the spices are half a teaspoon. Ch with ch in chicken, please add your spices, salt, turmeric, red chili powder, black pepper. Mix it in well. Put it to the side. Let it marinate for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Blend your cashew nuts in yogurt. Plug it to about four tablespoons. Doesn't make any difference if it's more or less. The measurements are, don't need to be accurate. About 30 ml of oil. Dry your um, spices, fry them. The aroma is amazing, keep the heat on low. Fry the onions on medium heat. Keep stirring. You don't want to burn them. You need to soften them first. And then let it change the color into golden brown. Don't overcook them. You don't want to put them on high heat. And they just end up being hard. And then dark. Don't taste as nice. So this is the basic of the curry. Any curry that you're making, your start would be this. Chicken, fry it, occasionally turn it over, keep the gas medium to high. Garlic, teaspoon, should be enough. I think this cooking time would be about uh, eight to ten minutes. Add the spices again, they're the similar spices turmeric, red chili powder, black pepper, uh, coriander powder. These are the common spices in this Indian cuisine. Blended cashew nuts and yogurt. This will help to tender the chicken. Adds nice flavor and texture to it also. The aroma here is just amazing. You know you're cooking something special. Add half a cup of water to soften the chicken. Leave it for about six, seven minutes. Check the chicken if it's softened. Here you can see the oil is started to release. The gas should be low to medium. I've just added a bit of salt for, to taste. I use pink salt, has many benefits. Please check and try. Here you can see the chicken is very soft, just with a little bit of pinch, you can see. Chilies, green chilies, nicely sliced, look like restaurant style. Now here I'm going to add bell pepper at the last part of the cooking because I like a little bit of crisp in the bell peppers. If you overcook it, that's fine. The aroma is still amazing. The taste is great. Coriander for garnishing. And here's the finish dish looks amazing you can serve it with white rice with chapati i hope you enjoy it please try so amazing pictures here the taste is even better thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel